When working on the second floor of this home, I had the opportunity to design three bedrooms and I used the same three principles in each space. It was important to balance light and dark, play a bit with texture, and then also use curved and straight lines. When my client and I first started talking about their principal bedroom, she had asked me to create an oasis. When I first had a look at the room, I noticed the soaring ceilings and I thought we should play up on that with a beautiful light fixture from Union Lighting and this dark, handsome canopy bed from Cocoon Furnishings. The beautiful bedding was from Oli, which we paired with some custom-made shams. Because the bedroom is so light-filled, we decided to use the same wood finish on the two night tables and the bed, and it just helps to ground that back wall. We did need to delineate the two spaces, the sitting area and the bed, so we used area rugs to do that. It still lets a bit of that beautiful hardwood show, but it does create a little bit more intimacy in the room. We created that oasis feeling by keeping to a very strict palette for the space and a lot of it is the creams, the ivories and navies, but we did introduce a lot of texture so we used velvet on the chairs. On the case goods we mixed high polished finishes with a faux chagrin that adds great texture. We used a beautiful linen on the drapes from Thread Count, and the draperies were made by Q Design. We introduced a number of rounded pieces into the space in order to help break away from its rectangular shape. This custom ottoman which helps to round out a more intimate seating area and a round side table and even the fronts of the nightstands have a slightly curved design and it just helps to soften the layout of the space. We continued the same feeling of the bedroom into the master ensuite by keeping it very light and spa-like. We were fortunate that it already had very good bones but by adding the drapery behind the bathtub it adds a really soft serene feeling to the space. For her daughter's bedroom, we thought that we would introduce a more neutral palette, something that was more mature for a girl her age. We played up on the gorgeous Palladian window that she has by adding these floral drapes. The drapes by Q Design really are the grounding hit in this space. And then the rest of the room is fairly neutral. On her bed, we kept it very simple. It was a white duvet and coverlet, but by adding that gorgeous fur throw and the John Robshop pillows, it really helps to add some youthful character to the space. Rather than going the conventional route for night tables, we use two staggered round end tables, and it just helps to fill in that corner of the room and feel a little more softened. Since we had created such a neutral space, we were able to introduce a very bold piece of art that adds great energy to her room. In the boy's bedroom, we used the same principles. We painted his existing bed frame charcoal gray, and because a desk worked better in the space than existing end tables, we moved it to one side and it gives him a greater work surface. We helped to create a bit of flow by using a round sisal rug under the bed. The sisal rug adds great texture, as does the burlap and suede bedding from Ralph Lauren. I love working on bedrooms because they're such a fun way to inject the client's personality. It's a very personal space and I think I help these clients achieve spaces that are rather timeless but also very personal to them.